Hi guys, Nat Hunt here, Gmail CRM and email marketing experts. Today we're exploring drip marketing, aka marketing automation. Why? Because open rates for email drip campaigns are roughly 80% higher than single sent emails with three times the average click through rates. And as a direct consequence, nurtured leads tend to purchase 43% more than non nurtured leads. Want it? Let's find out how it's all possible. By the end of this video, you will know what drip marketing is and why it is important for your business, the key elements of a successful drip email campaign, and how to run a drip marketing campaign. Stay tuned! First things first, what is drip marketing? Drip marketing is a marketing strategy consisting of breaking down any sort of marketing communication – emails, phone calls, social media posts, brochures, or printed leaflets – into a series of drips spread across a period of time. It goes by a lot of different names – drip marketing, automated email campaign, lifecycle emails, autoresponders, and marketing automation. Still, the benefits of drip marketing remain the same. It improves engagement. It's a proven fact that emails triggered by a user actions are more likely to be opened than mass sent email marketing campaigns. It moves leads down the funnel automatically. With marketing automation, you can push your leads towards conversations automatically, without an employee getting involved. It's less annoying to prospects. Cold calling or cold emailing can be useful, but it inevitably means interrupting your prospect's day. Triggered emails are much less invasive. It enables cross-selling and upselling. By extending your email drip campaign beyond conversation, you can score loyal customers that make repeat purchases. Hence, more sales. It increases brand awareness. Last but not least, if you pop up in your leads inbox regularly, you put a reminder about yourself into their heads and stay there for longer. Some of the tasks drip marketing campaigns have proven particularly effective for lead nurturing, welcoming, onboarding, abandoned shopping carts. Oh, by the way, if you know any other use cases for email drip campaigns, let us know in the comments below. Now that you know what a drip marketing campaign is, it's time to talk more about the different parts it is made up of. First, triggers. Triggers are the events that set up your drip marketing campaign in motion by either causing entry of a new lead to your pipeline or propelling it further down the funnel. Here are some of the most common drip marketing triggers. A new blog subscriber, creation of a lead, a potential customer leaving the site without purchasing their shopping cart, someone creating an account in your online store. Number 2. Conditions Triggers set the campaign off and get the gears going. However, for the engagement actions to commence, a set of predefined conditions must be met first. Here are some examples. Sending an email once a lead has clicked on a particular link. Waiting for two days before sending out the first email of the sequence. 3. Actions in drip marketing, actions refer to the actual engagement elements that establish a connection between the business and its customers. Depending on the type of drip marketing in question, these actions can take the form of emails, SMS messages, social media direct messages, or push notifications. One of the best things about drip marketing campaigns is that they are easy to conduct in just a few easy steps. Identify your target audience. First of all, you need to get the gist of your target audience. It's essentially you identifying who they are, what they want, including what they don't realize they want, and how they behave. Drip marketing is based on two types of trigger-based segmentation. You can either segment the target audience by action triggers or demographic triggers. Action trigger-based segmentation divides leads based on how they interact with your business. For example, you send them a welcoming email and they first register, or send a receipt with shopping details and a couple of upselling options once they make a purchase. Demographic trigger-based segmentation involves tracking your customer behavior and nudging your leads towards conversation. It is focused on details such as past purchases, cart abandonment, and prolonged inactivity upon registration. Construct your message. 
At this point, you need to start crafting first drafts. The content of your emails is based on the goals of your campaign. You should be able to answer the question of what you want the recipients of your email campaigns to do. Unfortunately, we can't write it up for you. If you need inspiration, there are some excellent email templates in our video. The link is on the screen right now. Map out your campaign. At this point, you should have your messages ready and waiting to be sent. The task now is to make sure they all flow together and don't contradict each other. Here's a checklist of questions to answer when planning out your drip marketing campaign. How many emails will I send in the course of the campaign? When will I be sending each of these emails? In what order will I be sending them? Do all my emails line up well with the identified triggers? How will I measure the results of my campaign? Launch the campaign. When you've got everything oven ready, you can set off the campaign and start sending out emails. A little pro tip here. To get the best results possible and significantly boost your productivity, launch your campaign with the help of CRM software. Since we're talking email drip marketing, the best option is, of course, a Gmail-based CRM system such as NetHand CRM. It's fully integrated with Gmail and has lots of cool features that will allow you to automate processes. You can simplify the process of bulk emailing, schedule emails, and segment recipients all inside your inbox. Learn more about email campaigns with NetHand CRM in the video. The link is on the screen now. Assess first results and calibrate the campaign accordingly. Finally, you can assess your results. NetHand CRM offers click-through and open rates for sent emails. It also allows you to specifically rearrange segmentation groups so that you can focus on tailoring messages and rewriting them if they're not reading the desired results. Get that drip! Any more tips? Let us know in the comments. Sign up for NetHand CRM to check out its powerful bulk emailing features. For more email marketing tips and contact, check out our playlist. Like, comment, subscribe and head to communitynethunt.com to join our beautiful community if you haven't already. Nethunt over and out!